Victoria's Secret Library, I have just been into the vault and pulled out the original manuscript to a brand new musical called Lube, A Modern Love Story. This has been a very fun thing to read and even better to listen to. Lube, A Modern Love Story is so impressive. I believe it's going to be flying off the shelves from San Diego to New York in no time at all. So for you, we were able to get Jack Turner, the playwright and lyricist, to come into the studio and talk about why he wrote Lube, where it's coming from, and what the audience is. I know you're going to be singing this music on the way home. In addition, we have a special treat. We got some of the best actors and actresses in San Diego to come and do scene six, just so you can see it before anybody else. And we have here in the studio today Jack Turner, the playwright and lyricist of the musical Lube, and the cast and crew. Take it away, guys. Hi, my name is John Bada. I'm playing the fabulous part of David uh, in, in the musical Lube. Uh, we're about to do a scene, and... My name is Tim Ahrens. I'm playing the concessionaire of a movie theater. And I'd like now to introduce the playwright of the show, Lube, Mr. Jack Turner. Hi, everybody. Welcome. So, before you watch this scene, which is scene six from the play, um, I just need to give you a little background so you can understand the interactions between the characters that are going on. The play starts at a football camp where Manny, who's a football player from Amarillo, has come to learn football. He wants to be a professional football player. So he has his whole life mapped out for him, wife, kids, you know, the whole thing. Um, but he finds himself strangely attracted to this other guy, Andy, who's from Austin. And the two hook up, and they fall in love with each other. So football camp's over, Andy goes away for having fallen in love, and Manny goes away very confused about his feelings. So high school starts in the fall and all of a sudden Andy's father has moved from Austin to Amarillo and at the same time Andy has come out to his father and the experience didn't go very well. So he started dressing outrageously um, due, due to a lack of stereotypes and an idea of what gay should be and that kind of thing. So he dresses kind of outrageously for most of the play. So he bumps into Manny and at first Manny is ecstatic to see him but then realizes looking around hey you know I'm I can't admit that I'm gay in front of my friends and family. I want to be a professional football player. So they, he kind of arranges to meet with Andy later, and they do. And Manny wants to continue things as they were, you know, on the down low. And Andy says, no, I'm out and I'm proud. If you either drop the girlfriend and be with me, come out of the closet, or, or we're not doing anything. And Manny says, fine, we don't know each other when other people are around. So in this scene, it happens shortly after that encounter, and Manny is at the movie theater with his girlfriend when Andy and his friend David walk in. And of course, that's why you see this subtle interaction between them. And at one point, Lizzie notices, and she's just kind of a little puzzled, but she doesn't think anything about it. But seeing each other like this evokes these feelings. For um, Andy, It's he knows that he can't acknowledge his friendship and his love for Manny. And Manny, it's just like, you know, what the hell am I, what is going on here? I can't, I can't possibly be gay. You know, I'm going to be a football player. So that is where scene six starts, and that's what you'll see here momentarily.
Uh, one large popcorn and drink, please. Uh, that'll be one more. Thanks. Uh, did you see the football game last night? Yes, you were awesome. Thanks. Uh, we almost lost it, but the team pulled it together last minute. So, uh, how's Mitzi? Uh, you know, problems with Biff still. That sucks. Yeah, but it's okay. Hey, David. Hey, guys. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? You had me at hello. Let me guess. Jerry Maguire? It's getting hard to stump you, Lizzie. <laughs> hey, everyone. Andy, wasn't practice great yesterday? Yes, the best. <laughs> yeah. The squad is meeting down at the Dairy Queen tomorrow afternoon if you guys want to join us. We're not dating. David is just a guy who's not afraid to be seen with a gay guy. Oh, I've known David since first grade. I know he's not gay, silly. You guys can both bring dates if you want. I'm sure the other girls wouldn't mind. Well, I'm not dating anyone, but I'll be there. Sorry, you can't make it, but you girls have fun. Something wrong, David? You seem different lately. What do you mean? Well, since school started, it's like you're more, I don't know, sad? Depressed? Don't know what you're talking about. Okay, just asking. Maybe it's my imagination. Well, I've only been here a month, and even I've noticed a change. If you need someone to talk to... I appreciate the offer, Lizzie, but really, I'm fine. If you say so. Can you go get us some good seats? I'm going to go to the restroom. Well, it was nice talking to you guys. See you tomorrow at practice, Andy. Wait a minute here. What? I heard that Manny went to football camp this summer. So? Is that the camp that you're at? How would I know what camp Manny went to? Is that who you're with? Oh my god. I don't believe it. Why would you say that? You know Manny's not gay. He's got a girlfriend. I know you're not denying it. Well, I'm not confirming it either. I won't out anyone. That's good enough for me. Manny Sanchez, of all people, you lucky dog. Lucky? As if. Do you want anything? I have always depended upon the kindness of strangers, but no, I just ate. I'm gonna go inside and get some good seats. I'll save you one. Good idea. Beat the crowd. Large popcorn, please. Guess you are not the man I care for. What we shared, you bid adieu. I can't believe it's true. There's nothing left of me and you. I know it's hard to let the truth out. The closet seems the place to be. But someday you will see. This life you chose is misery I'm helplessly addicted to you, to you But now I love you, deny Victim of your foolish pride I'm less than a friend I'm helplessly addicted to you I'm helplessly addicted I'm helplessly addicted to you You think your feelings must be phony And tell yourself it's just a phase To think you can mend your ways Until the lie you live betrays I'm helplessly addicted to you
But now I love you denied, victim of your foolish pride. I'm less than a friend. I'm helplessly addicted to you. I'm helplessly addicted to you. I'm helplessly addicted to you. Damn these feelings. Damn these feelings. Damn these feelings. Damn. These feelings here to stay, will they never die? Was I really born this way? Makes me wonder why. Should I care what people say? Damn these feelings anyway. This must be a phase I just can't comprehend. Somehow I must change my ways. All these thoughts suspend. Damn these feelings anyway. There's no way I can be gay. Damn these feelings anyway. There's no way he can be gay. I'm not gay, okay. I'm not gay, okay. I'm not gay, okay. I'm not gay, okay. Come on, I'm not gay, okay. I tell myself that I'm not gay. There's no way that I am gay. There's no way that I am gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Come on, there's no way I'm gay. Gay, 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 gay. All my life I've had the sense to picture where I've gone. Married kids, white picket fence. Everything I've known Can't let this lead me astray There's no way I can be gay Someone I must implore To provide me some insight Teacher, pastor, counselor It just might shed some light There's no way can be gay. Damn these feelings anyway. Damn these feelings, damn these feelings, damn these feelings, damn these feelings. Damn! I'm Jack Turner. I am the playwright and lyricist for Luba Modern Love Story. The reason that I wrote this play was to provide a positive environment, a positive set of role models, maybe even stereotypical characters that gay people who are growing up, gay young gay people can look to and say, hey, that's me, and it's not like all the other stuff you see out there that, you know, somebody dies or somebody gets AIDS, and certainly that kind of theater has a place, but I'm looking for something positive. People go to see Hairspray on Broadway, or they go to see Grease on Broadway, or they go to see Wicked on Broadway, and they leave with a sense of uplifting hope. They put themselves with a the character. They, they ended up at the end in love and married. And I just don't see any gay people or gay movies or gay plays that are like that. So, so what I'm trying to do is provide something that gay people and gay supporters can go to that has a happy ending where it's uplifting, where you see positive role models for gay people, people with normal relationships where they actually have sex at some point, um, and sex isn't taboo, 
and just they can walk out of the theater feeling good about themselves and say, yes, I'm gay, and that was gay, and they had a good life, they met somebody, they fell in love, and I can do the same thing. And that's what Lube is all about. Kind of a new genre, if you will. A new gay musical written by gay people. Well, there's nothing new about gay or musicals being written by gay people, I admit. But the target audience is gays and gay supporters. It's not just generally people. I don't expect people on the far right of the political spectrum to be at all interested. But I do think that most everybody knows a gay person. They're, you know, gay supporters more and more. And that is the people, those are the people that I'm trying to reach. So again, my name is Jack Turner, and thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you in a theater showing Luke in the near future. Thanks for listening to our show here at Victoria's Secret Library. Jack has just been magical, and I can't wait to listen to the entire thing of Lube, a modern love story. Meanwhile, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we know you'll be singing the lyrics to Lube on the way to your New Year's party. We'll see you there. You try to shove it in, but things is just too tight. There is a danger you can push too hard. Don't want to break the park, don't want to leave the thing marred. The job needs lube. We talk of love, but all they hear is sex. If they could understand, it's something more complex. They're so hung up on who does what to whom. And in their ignorance, all they can do is assume the job needs lube. The job needs lube, it needs lube from a tube. Makes it slick, makes it slippery. Lube, lube makes, makes it slide, makes it glide, makes it, glide, makes it easy. Lube is the way to nirvana. Can't take the pressure, think the task is too large. Eventuality dictates you need to take charge. Your only chance to see the chore to its end. To get it over with, here's something to comprehend. The job needs lube. The job needs lube, it needs lube from a tube. Makes it slick, makes it slippery. Lube, lube makes, makes it slide, slide, makes it glide, makes it easy. the way to nirvana There's no need for illusion Wrap it in rubber Make your conclusion What are you doing here? Can't take the pressure Think the task is too large Eventuality dictates you need to take charge Your only chance to see the chore to its end To get it over with, here's something to comprehend The job needs lube The job needs lube, it needs lube from a tube Makes it slick, makes it slippery Lube makes it slide, makes it glide, makes it easy Lube is the way to nirvana Makes it slick, makes it slippery. Blue makes it slide, makes it glide, makes it easy. Blue is the way to Nirvana.
Hi, my name is Jack Turner, and I am the playwright for Lube, a modern love story. Tonight I'm here to talk to you about a very important issue, and that is the rescue of animals. In particular, tonight we're talking about dogs. In fact, here I have in my lap Dee Dee, who with her sister are looking for a loving home. They need to go as a pair, however, so if you have a place in your home where you could love two beautiful little dogs, please contact us at AnimalRescueLaHoya at gmail.com. That is AnimalRescueLaHoya at gmail.com. You'll be glad you did. Good evening. My name is Jack Turner, and I'm the playwright for Lube, a modern love story. Tonight we're here to talk about something very important. We will sell no wine before it's time. Oh, sorry, I was channeling Orson Welles there for a moment. Um, here we go. We're here to talk about a terrible scourge on society, and that is dogfighting. So if you know of dogfighting and you report it to the Humane Society, you can make a $5,000 reward. Again, just go to humanesociety.org slash rewards, report dogfighting that you're aware of, and help me put a stop to this. Again, my name is Jack Turner, and I hope to see you at a performance of Lube, A Modern Love Story, in the near future.